Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. And uh, welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about how to insert a new worksheet in Excel, how to rearrange worksheets in Excel and how to rename a worksheet in Excel. Okay, we are back on our mileage worksheet in the destinations spreadsheet or destinations two spreadsheet. Now we are going to be using this as an example of how to insert a new worksheet. Now remember, worksheets are the ones here at the bottom. This um, there is a whole lesson on what a worksheet is. So if you haven't fully understood please do go to the lesson and watch the full tutorial. So these are worksheets. We've got a mileage worksheet and we've got a copy worksheet. But let's have a look at the question of the day. It's asking us to insert a new worksheet between the mileage worksheet and the copy worksheet. So it's asking us to insert a new one between the mileage worksheet and the copy worksheet and then rename this new worksheet as distance okay now there is a few ways of inserting new worksheet one of the most easiest way to insert a new worksheet is simply by clicking this plus sign here but if you do click on this plus sign your new worksheet will always be at the end at the end i'm meaning after copy or whichever one it is meaning the latest worksheet in this in this um, list here at the bottom so we don't want to really do that because we will then have to move it but uh, i'm going to show you how to move them around as well but the best way to insert a new worksheet for it to come in the right position to begin with is remember any new worksheet always comes to the left of the worksheet you select so if I want to insert one in between mileage and worksheet, what I need to do is right click on this worksheet and then insert. And now when I click on insert, the new worksheet will come to the left of my copy worksheet. So I'm going to click on insert. Then it's asking me, OK, what do I want? You know, do I want a chart or anything else? Well, I don't. I just want a worksheet. So by default, worksheet is selected. All I have to do is click on OK. And that is my new worksheet. Now, Excel does de define names. It starts with sheet one and then sheet two and then sheet three, etc., etc. These are the default names. So the other question was before i start showing you how to move things around um, it, the question is for us to rename this to distance again there is a full lesson which i have created um, showing you how to rename a worksheet so i'm going to do this pretty quickly um, simply double click this is one of the ways of renaming a worksheet and the other way is to simply right click and then select rename those are the two wonderful ways of renaming any worksheet so i've renamed it i've got it in the right place but let's say you did click on this plus sign and your new worksheet appeared here at the end or by mistake you right clicked on mileage and your new worksheet appeared uh, before mileage if that's the case you have to then move it to the right position um, there are reasons why we have names for worksheets. You need to give them meaningful names. Um, it's all about managing your worksheets, uh, making sure the names does represent what's on the worksheet. So for example, this is the mileage worksheet, hence everything to do with mileage, distance, percentage cost, uh, liters of petrol, etc. So the names are important. Um, don't just give any random names The names have just like file management if you're going to choose a name of a file or a folder you're going to choose a meaningful name so this is the same principle so i'm going to now show you how to move this to a different position the easiest way 
all you have to do is click and drag now can you see it's become a piece of paper or, or a page and you've got a black arrow um, just up here so this is what's telling you the current position of this worksheet so if I keep dragging keep dragging it will show you that it's gonna go there well I don't want it there I want it after copy for example so when it shows after copy this little arrow pointing down if I let go my distance worksheet will move over there so similarly if I want to move it back to the correct position all I do is click and drag till the arrow shows you where I want it and then I just drop it there there we are so that's how you create um, a new worksheet rename a worksheet and move them around um, as easy as that So that was a wonderful lesson, straightforward, simple and short. So uh, please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to our channel um, and spread the word. Let's get everyone educated and everyone learning about Microsoft Excel. And remember, I have big plans to create other tutorials on other Microsoft Office software such as Microsoft Word. Microsoft Access, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Publisher and other software as well. So watch this space and keep on learning and I shall see you over in the next lesson. Until then, please take care and goodbye.